All right, guys, this is my review of the Amazon Basics Cat Activity Tree in a size large. Uh, this just came in the other day. So we are going to unbox it, build it up, and uh, see what our two cats think about it. Okay. All right, so instruction manual. All right, a lot of pieces here. Bunch of these guys labeled E's and B's. So we have that. We've got five of these. Uh, and then we have some carpeted boards and then the little treetop here. Yeah, let's uh, put this all together. Oh, there's a little screws at the bottom. Okay. So from what I can see that these are particle board, right, but a uh, good hard covering there, good carpeting, and uh, nice ropes, so. Yeah, now we're gonna just try to assemble this whole thing, read all the instructions, and then uh, you guys are going to be right along the way. Okay, so, let's see. So A, you have this here. This is piece A. Piece B, you have three of them. One, I don't know what the difference is, they look exactly the same. Three pieces of B. C. Huh. Here's Misa. Misa. Hey. It's not ready yet. Alright, so we have four pieces of E, which is here. Three of these. Screws. Four. Ah. So four of these screws right here. Three of these. Four washers. This one is actually a little bit bent already. But it'll probably still work. And you get an Allen key and a couple of bases, L and F. Okay, step one, turn the triangle cushion upside down. And then you put the bees in here. So you're just screwing this in by hand. It's an E. Okay, and you have something that looks like this. So something that looks like this so far. Step two is you want to screw these three, screw these three pieces into here. And everything is just done by hand so far. So it's really scratching it up. She's liking it. That's good news. Swing it all the way. Insert the stem to column. Put the top of the cover. Covered. Not just fully covered. Not too far there. And a little too far there. I'm gonna put this in. Okay. 
Okay, so that's done. Step three, my F board. This is the F board. Bring it upside down. Line with the openings. All I'm doing here is I'm screwing these in. Eventually it tightens up. Alright, Miso's excited. I think there might be some scent on this. Okay, screw in the third one on. So good, this is pretty easy, nothing too crazy about it. Okay, step five. Step five, this board is a lot heavier. This is a lot heavier. Makes sense that this is the base actually. So, Putting these like that. So I'm taking the washers and I'm putting these in. So let's just see that. So I'm just taking these washers. And then there's an extra one there. Don't know why. I do give you an Allen key to uh, screw it all in. Okay, so I'm just gonna screw these in. That's one in. Okay, that's two. And the third one. So hard. What? There we go. There we go. Alright. So now we are just tightening this with our Allen key. So you don't really need the instruction manual. It's pretty common sense so far. I assume the last washer and the last screw is just to uh, put the final top piece on. And now I'm putting the final piece in. Two more pieces here. Now that that's in, we are flipping this over. And we are. Right, the 
final E. Final column, the top piece just has a hole on this side, no hole on this side. We are screwing that in. So this piece I want really, really firm because they're going to be really high off the ground. And okay, the final step is to take this. There's a hole right here. We are going to mount the Allen key and screw this way. This way in, the final piece is here. And then there is a little hole on the bottom where we will put this through. Okay, so let's try to find it. So actually this entire top piece is just held together by one screw. Uh, I wish it was two, but oh well. Where did my own key go? Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, back in business. All right, so everything is pretty tightly screwed on. Let's look at the stability test of this thing. It's actually not bad. Okay, where is Buffy? On the carpet, got a little mat down from the delivery. Fixed itself up. Let's go check on Buffy. Buffy! Hey! I got your new catchery. So that is the Amazon cat activity tree in a size large. I think the size small or medium is just this section from here to the top. They don't have the base. Uh, this is multiple levels. Got two cats, so I'm gonna recommend this one. And uh, that's it for now. All right, so I just finished building this. Took about under 15 minutes, not too long. Uh, it's actually quite tall. I am six foot tall and this goes to about a little over my belly button. There's a kitten right there. Miso, how do you like it? Uh, she'd rather play with my tripod. So that's it right there. We're gonna find a spot for this and then uh, see how they like it. Okay, so Buffy is here exploring it for the first time. He's a little too big, but let's see how she fares. Can you get up there, girl? Oh, there she goes. Now the question is, can she fit? Buffy's a pretty big cat. She's really hairy. And uh, we're gonna see if this Amazon cat tree can fit her. So it looks like Buffy does fit. And it looks like she likes it. Here you go. Success.